Hello. Hello, hello. Once again, we are here. What a week it's been. What an interesting week it's been. Um, I am Storm of Iron. This, this whole thing continues to be SnowRunner. We don't have anything new yet. Uh, that's because we're still waiting on all the cool new stuff. And, well, SnowRunner's fun. And... I still have Hellblade, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and there's Outriders, Call of Duty, Cold War, Zombies, Outbreak, that I like. <clears throat> so, with that being said, this is more SnowRunner. I'm yet again Storm of Iron, and um, here we all are. It's, uh, it's Thursday. It's actually Thursday, and, um, I don't know, man. It's been a long week. It's been a long week, but it's been a, been a fast week, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, that's all right, though, because you know why? We've got this. No, none, William Sterling. None at all. <laughs> See, and um, that's the thing. I mean, like, as I've continued to say, we have become disconnected from reality. We no longer know what day it is, what time it is, what month or what flavor of the week it could possibly potentially be. But I mean, um, it's, it's like quarter to six, maybe a Thursday. That's at least what my phone is telling me right time, right, right, right now. Um, it is the color out of space outside right now, which, yeah, that would be something. Where's Nicolas Cage when you need him? There it is. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's gonna get spicy, all right. <clears throat> it's gonna get something. What it's gonna get, I have no idea. No clue. Not at all. But um, that being said. The Color Out of Space with Nicolas Cage is a really good movie. 
and that has the guy who did originally the director for The Island of Dr. Moreau. Yes, then we are food. No, no, you had it right the first time. Then we are food, if it's like The Mist. Um, you know what? William Sterling, it could be any possible day of the week that you want it to be. That's the thing. That is absolutely the thing. Also, we have a hostile puma. How, how, how hostile on the hostile meter are we today, Mr. Puma? Puma. If you were, if you were from New England, you would be Puma. Hey, Puma, run down to the packy. We're going to bang a Yui. Going to hit dunks on the way back. Sound like a bunch of Neanderthal morons. The Massachusetts accent is horrible. Anyone who tries to, like, really kind of do the Massachusetts accent, it's just, it's, it's painful. It really is painful. Um... I don't even know what I'm doing right now. That's the thing. I haven't really thought out my uh, logistics. I have not thought out my anything. Um, I need bricks, and I need cement, and I need concrete slabs. That is all I know that I need. <clears throat> you are here today. You are a mellow puma. Not perhaps a mallow cup puma. Those things were good. They were like, uh, they're like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but instead of peanut butter, it's marshmallow. So it's mallow cups. Oh, my stuff's loose up here. Don't mind me. Making adjustments on the fly as we go. It's okay, though. But we're here. Everybody's here. Everybody's gonna hang out. We're all gonna have a good time. And watch me drag trucks through the mud and potentially sink them. So there is that. Um. I do know that I don't feel like using this truck here for stuff. But I have a trailer that I need to make it go away. We need to get this thing back to the garage is essentially what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll do that. Well, <clears throat> More power to you, little fella. I mean, what whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Aren't you, like, married? Or something? Domestic partnership? I mean, you get something going on over there. Over this way. Yes. Just drag us across the river sideways. You should absolutely clean your womb. Clean your womb. Sir. Lest he be a slobby puma. And we don't want a slobby puma. Oh, good. Actually, that went a little bit better than I thought it would with this truck. So there's that. <laughs> a tomato? <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, that's a thing. So my favorite um, means of kind of just messing with someone is when they leave their cellular device. General Norman, we are here. <laughs> you, you get, get one of those clementine oranges. Um, all right, get rid of the trailer. There it is. Okay. And then get rid of this truck. So, as I was saying, 
Do not leave an unlocked phone around me and walk away. Uh, I had proceeded to perform several acts of, like, uh, Facebook mockery for a friend of mine. And this is a good friend of mine, too. So he would leave his cell phone around. I would then add things about um, which, which cantaloupe um, should be picked to use for lonely time, we shall say, because we're gonna we're gonna keep this a little bit PC right now. So gonna keep it a little bit PC because of you know it's six o'clock and we have an audience. Um, also yes, but see here's the thing: these are overarching ramifications that one could potentially run into if you leave your phone alone long enough. And what happens is there tends to be a lot of messages that generate on your Facebook page over time. And if you don't post a lot on your Facebook page, the things that I post to your Facebook page kind of overtake it. So this friend of mine um, who is in the trades and had gone to uh, either do some kind of appliance installation or repair something in... Uh, a friend of his uh, home, and his friend had a rather attractive wife. And the joke was that his friend was always going to, he was going to, he was going to, th th this guy whose home it was, he was going to set him up on a date, he was going to get him a date with a with a model, um, going to set him up, going to get him a date, all sorts of stuff. So they hadn't worked together for a while, so the, you know, nothing ever came to fruition. Eventually, so he's he's doing this installation. He's like, "Hey, um, y y does your wife still know anybody who's you know single, looking for a date, that kind of thing?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, send send me send me a couple of pictures in a text message, and then you know, we'll we'll see where it goes from there. So he sent him a picture of his dog, just being funny and cheeky, but he didn't hear back from him for quite some time. So he decided to message him and go, hey, um, I, I guess my, you know, I, I was only joking around with a picture of the dog and, um, you know, didn't, didn't know, you know, what was up or anything like that. So the guy responds and tells him that we found your Facebook page because I figured it would just be easier to get pictures off your Facebook page. I don't think my wife's friends are your type. And he told me this story and basically blamed me for making it so that he no longer had a date or a shot at a date with anyone because of the stuff I had put on his Facebook page that was there for public consumption because the idiot didn't know how to delete any of it and just simply left it there which also caused a problem at a friend of his, um, like a, a friend or a relative's funeral. Like he had a whole bunch of aunts and uncles come up to him going, is everything all right? I see some of the stuff you put on Facebook and I'm not really sure if everything's all right, but I don't know if, if I should say anything about it. And this is all like really weird outlander stuff like, how long one should microwave a cucumber, or uh, excuse me, a, a cantaloupe, to bring it up to, um, you know, operating temperature, so to speak. I am a horrible person, and I'm completely okay with that. Also, yeah, if you're my brother and you leave your phone around, things may happen too. Um, I think that was more fun and, and more good-natured and um, comical. But that's just me. Because I'm a bastard. <laughs> yeah, so don't leave your unlocked phone or cellular device around me. It's good stuff. A hostile puma. Oh, what up on your PC now? Mr. Poomer. Mr. Puma. Out of his mouth they will pop on Mr. Puma. Puma. Oh yeah. 
the dulcet tones of the hostile puma. Or the melancholy puma today. Perhaps the suave puma. Or simply the dove lotion puma. I mean, there's, there's things. Let's see if we can't get this trailer to cooperate. <laughs> you know, that is a fantastic song. Um, <laughs> that is a very fantastic song. Uh, the music video that accompanies it is quite amusing as well. Oops. Um, no, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to get rid of the trailer real quick so that we can recover the truck to repair the truck. So we'll leave that guy there. Let's um, let's use the other Olab as well. Because that thing's kind of fun. Yeah, the, the Mr. Crinkle stuff. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Puma, tell me why. Come on, Mr. Puma, will you please tell me why? Yeah. It could have been. If you wanted it to be. I don't actually really know what we're talking about, but that's beside the point. Oh, yep, there we go, Big Red. The Big Red Collab. I like this one. This one's actually pretty cool. And this is a whole lot of color. This color was chosen by my nephew, so. Uh, active suspension mode. Weep. Bring it right on up. That's right. And away we go. Oh, um, the Mr. Crinkle video. That was a that was a weird video. That was a really bizarre video where it's got the guy in the pig costume and he's playing like the um, was it the stand up bass or something or the cello? Is that a cello? I don't know if that's a cello. Okay. Um, actually, we won't be in here, so we're gonna move this way a little bit. All right. So we need bricks, cement, concrete slabs, and stuff. Gary was a race car driver. You know, you could get yourself a um, like a green velvet suit and a um, and like a puma mask, and just uh, when you go to drive around equipment, just pull up. <laughs> Absolutely. Relic. A wild relic has entered the building. Has joined the fray. Oh, that's right. This thing pukes out more, more diesel than the, uh, the other one. <clears throat> yeah, but um, you need yourself like a green velvet suit with a wild cat. Uh, face mask or something to that effect and you could roll up at a bus stop and be all like tell me Mr. Puma would you please tell me why Moya Surfer Dude I am doing quite well tonight uh, I am somehow crossing this water very slowly unfortunately we are in the mud but we're doing good we're doing good. We're here. It's like two nights in a row. This has been this has been a long week of streaming. This has been a very long week of streaming. Also, it is a long week of streaming because... And check this out. Okay. Uh, Sam Haynes, I am on the... Exactly as Relic had said, I'm on the PlayStation 4 using the Elgato capture card. And um, we are not playing with any mods. We have reached level 30. We have done a ton of stuff in this game. We are in Wisconsin, and we're just um, 
we're basically killing time until the expansion comes out uh, in a week. No, a week or two two weeks, I think. It's like the eight, I think the eighteenth for Snowrunner content, and it is the thirteenth for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So we might just bump back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla before things get uh, kind of interesting. Your staff meeting went well. Lots of changes going to be happening when you go back to work on the 22nd of May. That is awesome. It is this month. It is in a handful of weeks. Ah, uh, yes. The, the relic Puma. Huh. A hostile love. Uh, it's all good, man. We're, uh, we're here to, uh, Sam Haynes, we're here to hang out, play games, chill, talk, and essentially do goofy stuff. So, thank you very much for the follow. And Moya Surfer Dude, that is awesome that you are going back to work in legitimately, what is it? Today's the 6th, do some math. 18 more days? That is 18 more days that you will be back at work. All right, um, concrete slabs. Oh, we are, okay. So that's two, we need one more concrete slab, so that's fine, that's fine. We can, um, we'll, we'll make this work. We'll have one truck to bring over a singular concrete slab. Um, so that way it'll give us just something fun to poke around with. Uh, Moya Surfer, dude, that is that is the best of news. That is awesome news to hear, and I am very happy for you. So you're actually going to have to probably adopt like a regular. Um... Oh, relic subscribed with Prime, four months, four months. <laughs> now your alert goes through. It's true. Um, yeah, Moya Surfer, dude, you're going to have to like go to sleep at regular hours and stuff now, aren't you? That's... That's gonna be interesting. How... How is that gonna play out? Like, it, uh, it is, you know, having to be... <laughs> I appreciate that. I absolutely appreciate that. Um, but you're, you're gonna be, you know, back on a regular schedule, which uh, I think is pretty darn cool. That's actually, like, really awesome. And I am very happy for you. Alright, we're just gonna... I'm just gonna use some horsepower to just force stuff around, break trees, do all kinds of uh, weird shenanigans. Also, General Norman, did you get your media blasting cabinet up and running or does it simply look cool right now ah that's cool though that's that's so cool i am i am very happy for you I like really over the moon that things are finally starting to become maybe normal again ish uh, we get the news that there is a small convention taking place next town over. Uh, it is in July, I believe. It's at one of the properties close by, so that'll be kind of cool. The New England Comic Con, uh, put on by Gary... How's his name? Gary something. He's actually a really nice guy. Um... You need some upgrades already, Norman. You need uh, more more air pressure, or, or what do you got going on? Now, Moyen Surfer, dude, I, I really, really am super happy for you. And it's, it's good. It is finally good that something, you know, something is becoming normal again. Because that's what the world needs more of right now. Normalcy. Not this thin veneer of normalcy, but, like, 
legitimate, straight up, also headlights, uh, normal suit. Um, Puma, you can do that. Oh, is it is it the um, is it the media that you're using that clods up, or do you need? Um, is there any uh, moisture in the lines for the? You're running on uh, compressed air, right? Actually, Puma. Not to uh, not to interrupt your meal as you're uh, in and out watching combat footage and eating. Also, I'd like to know what you're eating. Um, I would. I I was having a com uh, conversation earlier. Okay, so you do have a yep. Ah, uh, okay. But you know, it, it still pulls some of the moisture out of the line, so that's kind of good. Um, I was talking with a friend earlier, and gave the suggestion for a couple of YouTube videos. Carne asada fry. Oh. Oh, dude, that sounds awesome. I am all about that. So, I was talking with a friend of mine, and the Black Rifle Coffee Company had produced a video, and I was giving him some other suggestions as to... Oh, the cabinet's cheap junk. Okay, gotcha. So I was giving the friend of mine some suggestions for uh, other YouTube videos to watch because the off-road uh, driver, uh, BJ Baldwin, I don't know if anyone is familiar with BJ Baldwin, but if you look up BJ Baldwin Recoil on YouTube and watch his, his videos, um, the first Recoil video premiered eight years ago, roughly, and Recoil 2 came out six years ago. So if you have a chance, watch the Recoil videos. They are incredible. Absolutely incredible. And if you like off-road trucks at all, it's, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's kind of weird as to which truck tends to do better at any given any given point in time, whether it's the flat nose collab or the long nose collab. The Laginator. You have a YouTube channel, The Laginator Gaming. And what kind of gaming do you do over there, Laginator? Over here, over here, we're playing copious quantities of SnowRunner. But eventually, we will, we will be doing other stuff. Um, the, it's funny. This was only supposed to be, um, this was only supposed to be a fill-in game for like a week or two before we jumped into Hellblade, and this just wound up being so much fun, and was a great opportunity to just take it slow, take it easy, and have fun talking, chill out, relax, have a good time, that we ended up just sticking with this for a while. So Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto V, SnowRunner, and Farming Simulator. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. Stop this march, lost your saved game, and all your mods. Uh, all of the games you stopped, or only, like, one or two games? Alright. Well, let's get going a little bit faster. Let's pop this thing in high gear and bring all this cargo over to the paper factory. So we are going to definitely need bricks. So we're going to need to figure out what we need for the creation of bricks. 
what do you play on? PC, PlayStation, Xbox. Skulls of your enemies. That's an option. The Laginator. PS4. Okay, that's cool. I, too, have a YouTube channel. Uh, the link can be found down there. Uh, with all other various sorts of links and things. Yeah, I am on the PlayStation 4. I'm on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I picked this thing up, uh, well, I picked up the PlayStation when... shortly after Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. So this PlayStation is probably, what, end of 2019? When did, when did that come out? I, was it end of 2019 or end of 2018? I can't even remember at this point in time. Like, time... Like, as we were discussing earlier, time kind of just melds together and no longer has meaning or reasoning. It just is. Okay, 2019? All right, awesome. So, I got this PlayStation at the end of... Uh-oh, why are we getting yanked backwards? Something weird's going on here. So, I got this PlayStation at the end of 2019. Uh, that was also when... God of War came out. God of War came out, and that was roughly about the same time as Red Dead 2, because they were both up for Game of the Year. Although, God of War took Game of the Year. Even though I felt Red Dead 2 had the better storyline... Um, yeah... Yeah, I, I still think Red Dead 2 had the better storyline. Hands down. Arthur Morgan. In, yeah. There is so much I can say about that game. So much I can say. Alright, so let's get rid of the four pieces of cement. And the two pieces of concrete slab. Alright, Puma. Um, Laginator. Send me a private message, and I will get back to you. Alright, so we need bricks, and we need concrete slabs. So, back to the garage. Show go. Uh, we will find one truck to haul one unit of concrete slabs over Um, all right. Okay. So, which truck do we want to use to haul the singular piece of concrete slab. I am going to need to use that Ford F750 to kind of scout around because I actually want to find out just exactly what I use to make the bricks because I'm going to have to figure that one out. Okay, Lodestar. Is Freightliner Pacific P16 Seven star. We need something with a bed. We need something with a bed on it. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Oops. We could use the good old-fashioned uh, international pay star. So, uh, Laginator, you, you should have a message there. So... All right. Let's see. How about the Bandit? Mud tires. You know, the Bandit's not a bad idea. Lodestar. 
one of the older Vorons, the ANK, the Tega. You know what? Let's uh let's live a little. Let's uh let's see what we can do with this uh white western star right here. Um also let's see which tires we're running. We get the chain tires, the UADs, which are all terrain. I think we want the UOD 2s. We'll get those. Yeah. Get that. Oh yeah, we need a truck bed. We also need a truck bed. Uh, we also don't need a high range gearbox. Base suspension. That. That. Rayman ons. Flatbed. There we go. All right. So we're going to use this truck to get a single uh, concrete slab. So that's the last of that. And after the concrete slabs, we're going to need to go to the... Um, not the warehouse. Where is it? That, okay, so the brick brick production site, which is right here. Um, Laginator, we'll take care of that later, okay, buddy? Don't worry. I get your I get your message, so I will not forget. Uh, let's see. Paper factory. So we're over here. We need to get stuff over there. The brick production site is right there. The quarry is over here. Cargo creation zone to oh we're gonna have to haul over another generator and another truck with fuel so that's gonna be a thing. That's zone number two. That's packaged sand. So brick production site. This guy. Okay. Railway station has. Oh, you know what? I could have done that. This warehouse has... Any bricks? No bricks. Okay. So we're going to have to haul over a whole other setup over here. Oh, man. This is going to be a... Um, we haven't... Rebecca and Miracle, we have not robbed anyone's house yet. But we do have... All of these various little little houses and such that are made of brick. And while the Big Bad Wolf could not huff and puff and blow the house down, for they were made of brick. Alright, I will make note of that. Hostile Puma, I still think you should... watch the recoil video but that's just me that's just my opinion um so i'm gonna have to haul yeah so this is all the way on the other side over here we are here we need to get here which actually we could do through this stuff here um okay so we'll take a trailer a truck with fuel. We'll bring it over here. This will work. So I need the sand and probably something else. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make it there first. I'm gonna see what's exactly involved. Recoil. We you want to watch recoil with. BJ Baldwin. 
that guy. Okay, so let's take this truck and <laughs> this really old truck and let's see if we can't cross the water over here and then bring back a single concrete slab to be able to finish up that last section and then we'll see how far we can get with hauling oops, oops. damage damage uh i'm not a tiktok kind of guy uh not uh not a not a big tiktok kind of fan tiktok's really not my uh, thing hell i don't even have a discord server i'm just kind of just kind of doing my thing here having fun enjoying gaming This is what we do, and this is what we like. Exactly. Exactly like Ken Block's Gymkhana videos, but off-road. We always just got to get close enough just to grab this last little... Last little... It's a wood right there. Haul ourselves right across. I don't know what's going to be involved in making the bricks over there, but we'll find out. We'll get it done. Yeah, BJ Baldwin is like the off-road version of Ken Block, even though Ken Block has done a ton of different stuff. And he's probably got a little bit better production value, but then again, he's got like 13 or 14 different Gymkhana videos, so that's also a thing. Right. Yeah, if you um, if you if you put it in that in that uh, message that I sent you earlier, I will uh, I will check it out. Also, we'll turn on the headlights because it appears to be getting dark. This type of truck here, this is like the old school workhorse style truck. All right. Now let's see if we can actually make it across the water over here, which I may have to get the Caterpillar 745C and drag this bad boy across. Or, if we get lucky with a winch point, we can do this too. I like the water in this game. And if I wasn't babbling and talking so much, and the truck wasn't running, you could definitely hear more of the, of the water gurgling and just rushing past the rocks and stuff like that. channels. Well, that's cool. Double the pleasure, double the fun. With Wrigley's Double Mint Gun. Okay. Actually, so that was the hard... That's the hard part out of the way right there. And this thing is just sipping fuel as it goes, too. Which is kind of nice. So I'll probably end up... You know what? I could take a Tega over there. Uh, I'll haul a Tega with... Let's see. Well, when were you uh, when were you planning, Puma? Because it's, what? It's 20 past 6. Um, what, uh, what do you got going on, buddy? Because the idea is we will be raiding Puma for the first time ever. That is the idea. So Relic, Norman, everybody else, we will be uh, we will be raiding Puma's channel. Okay. You want to do 8 p.m. 
8 p.m. it is. So at 8 o'clock tonight, we're going to be raiding a hostile puma. And you will be playing what, good sir? Also, I will give everyone a heads up that uh, Puma's channel is um, slightly less general audience channel than mine is right here. So we, we, we try to keep it a uh, little, little bit more family friendly over on this end of the world. Starting with Destiny. And then you'll probably get tired of Destiny. Jump into the Binding of Isaac, which I still think that game is so bizarre. Everything about Binding of Isaac is just really strange. Um, to me, anyways. Then again, I'm really strange. Or so I'm told. By voices. Well, Laginator, we are still here. So, you enjoy it because it's strange. And I, I, can, I can appreciate that. Um, I am really, actually, I'm... I'm hesitant to try Hellblade, and I'm excited to try Hellblade all at the same time. Because it's supposed to be a really crazy game. Your PS4 is stuck in the West Good the Safe mode. Actually, who else has a PlayStation 4 with Outriders? And who's got it with a physical copy of Outriders? Well, I mean, Relic, we do try to pump the brakes a little bit and make it a little bit more G-rated because this game, it's driving a truck through mud. It's not like uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla where we are separating craniums from clavicles. Safe mode boot loop. Um, do you have a thumb drive? Because you can actually format a thumb drive with the PlayStation um, operating system. And you can... Like, if you're... <laughs> yeah, there, there is that too, my server dude. Um, the, and the, and the random pictures of, uh, of guards' heads at uh, my feet. So there is that. You're right. That was a great picture. I still have all those pictures. Ubisoft servers save all the screenshots. Okay, so that is that. So now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna get over to the, where are we? We're here. Rolled metal is there then bricks are there. So... What I'll kind of do is I'm going to head across here, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to drive up to the brick production site to see exactly what I need. Also, I might I might get some, some bricks there. Where else can we get bricks from? Wood, that's bricks. Yeah, so I'll pick up some bricks on the way back from over here, and I will steal it from that guy's house. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is appreciated because, you know, there there's a lot of different people who play this game. And, um... In which country are you at, Laginator? Also, I'm sitting on my wallet chain. <sighs> that... Wallet chains. Yay or nay? I have had one since high school. Now, Relic, do you have the physical copy of Outriders? You're in South Africa. Okay, that's cool. Um, Outriders is cross-platform, actually. Yes, yes it is. Actually, Puma, if you downloaded... <laughs> All right, hold on. Wallet chain. Actually, you know what? That feels a lot better without it in back pocket. Oh, 
Yeah, a lot better. A lot better, a lot better. We're going to leave that out of my back pocket. So, I w <laughs> here's the thing about the disc for Outriders. My PlayStation does not like to eject the physical copy of Outriders. It, um, it for whatever reason, the disc is smooth on the on the graphic side of it, so it's it's really bizarre. See, Puma, that's a good thing though. To have a wallet just because it's cool. It's called accessorizing, my good man. But no, as, as I was saying, we, we try to keep the, the stream a little bit more on the G-rated side, or the PG side, because there's a lot of people who show up here. There's a lot of, of uh, people all over the spectrum that show up here. And um, I try to keep it uh, fairly calm, cool, and collected. But then, re you know, Relic, as you said, Vlad shows up, and things happen. <laughs> Um, also, it oh, automatic. It occurs to me that um, I still need to reset everything for truck darts, which I have been seriously slacking on because the thing is, well, if I stream for four and a half hours, then I eat something and go to sleep, and that's it. So, yeah, there there is that. That is a thing. Also, I'm just totally smacking stuff around. So my um, my mic is all over the place. My everything's everywhere. Whatever, it, it's all good, right? It's all good. You know, it it's not a bad idea, and I kind of if I can get a PS5, I am going to get whichever one I can get my hands on at the time. That said, I would also like to get preferably. The, um, the one that takes the physical, the physical copy. Uh, I don't have a dog, actually. I have spiders. I have tarantulas. Laginator. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Dogs are okay. It all depends on the dog. It all depends on the dog, because some of some some dogs, let's face it, some dogs are jerks. Some dogs are big, just like people, just like people. Some dogs can be also big jerks and chew up and tear up anything and everything, like people. Yep, Puma, you've got Thanos. Relic, you have your puppy. Avor. Ivar. Um, I've, I've still got Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the brain. Um, I had a camera set up with my... I, I called it the Spider Cam Laginator. I will... Oh, you know what I can do? Hold on. I know what I can do. If you would like to see a spider feeding... Okay. So if you would like to see, uh, rose tarantulas are actually really, really cool. Uh, Moya Surfer Dude also has dogs. Wow, Puma. Man, first we're talking PG, and then you just go right off the rails. But hey, you know, you do you, buddy. You do you. All right, so Laginator, if you would like to see, <laughs> you have, okay, so Rebecca and Miracle has a dog as well. Um, that is one of my two tarantulas. Uh, so Laginator, if you hit that link, you will be treated to a view of my Mexican red rump uh, having feeding time 
on a, I guess they're called like horned worms or tomato worms. Oh, you have a dog as well. Okay. Very cool. What time is it in South Africa right now? <laughs> Puma, you don't want to watch the spiders? Uh, I think I'm going this way. Yeah, I'm going this way. couple of them. All right, that's pretty cool. You know, see, here's the thing. If I had my own dog, um, I, I don't even know what I'd name him. What do you call a person that doesn't stop talking? I believe the answer that you gave us yesterday was teacher. Relic can also say his wife. That, that, yeah, that's a thing as well. Um... <laughs> Four dogs and a pig? Dritz and a Kasha. Okay. Um, Rebecca and Miracle. What uh, what kind of spiders you got there? Inquiring minds would like to know. All right, so what do we need for bricks? To make bricks, we need cement and packaged sand. So where can we get... Cement. The packaged sand is over there, and I will need a lot of sand. Um, no cement there. Okay, so that is cement right there. All right. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to see where else I can steal some bricks from. Make it a little bit easier. Uh, bricks over here. We'll steal some there. Steal some there. So that'll be four units of bricks. So then we only need eight cement and eight sand. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Laginator? Where are you here? Yeah, the, the message I sent you, give me the, um, Send, send me the link in that message, and then I'll, I'll post it through the chat, because I have, um, I have links disabled in chat. I could go... Yeah, I could go all the way over here. I could get those bricks, so that would be four bricks. Okay. We're, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna make some, we're gonna make some bricks happen. And let's see if we can make this truck do it, because this will be kind of cool, actually, if we can. There we go. I sent you another message. Alright, so we want to not go that far. Um, Alright, tell you what, we'll go here, 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 here. And then into here to get the bricks. We'll loop around. Are we going to loop around? We might loop around. Okay, we'll figure out when we get there. Romanian tarantulas. Uh, wolf spiders are cool. <laughs> Norman, you have one more hour. 
one more hour. One more grueling hour. What, uh, Norman, what time does your day start? Technically, my work day starts at 7 a.m. I am typically up at quarter to five because I'm an idiot. And I also want to be able to get into work and make a pot of coffee. Deathwish coffee, thank you very much. Clock in at 7.30. Um, Laginator, okay. So if you subscribe to my channel, whether using Amazon Prime or um, Twitch Prime or whatever they call it, uh, or if you hit that subscribe button, you get all kinds of nifty little things. Like, um, you'll get those emblems that tell you how long you've been a subscriber for. Also, uh, as you can see, we have some really neat emotes that are available to only subscribers. Things like that. Bedtime is 3 a.m. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, so... Um, Laginator, which link was it? The first one or the second one? The one you wanted to share? Because I'll, I'll put that up there for you. All right. So, we'll do this. Uh, biggest spiders in Romania. Romanian tarantulas are wolf spiders. I had no idea. Loader, how are you doing? We are currently sharing links for the Laginator's YouTube channel. I have not seen these links yet, so hopefully it is not anything untoward, but it is gameplay. So, those are the links for Laginator's YouTube channel. And check those out at your leisure. Oh, okay. So, how, how is that going? Is that going pretty good? Over here, yeah. All right. Good old-fashioned white western star making its way around in the thing. Let's go pick up some bricks. See? All right. There we go. Now, I didn't think I was going to scavenge bricks from somebody's house. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Sorry. I needed these more than you did because we had to build a paper mill. I don't know why a paper mill is more important than your house that you're attempting to build on this uh, Wisconsin landscape, but it is, apparently. Eat? I don't know. I don't, I don't use yeet. It's like, really? Nah, not my thing. That is not in my... Uh, my common vocabulary, so. Alright, bring some bricks over here, then we'll go pick up some more bricks, and then we'll go grab some cement, and we'll make, uh, make some, make some magic happen. Well, don't do that, uh, Puma. So apparently that's Laginator's old channel and new channel. Uh, I have not checked things out on there yet, so I can't say what's on there exactly. Although chances are I probably should have checked it out before putting the links up, but that's, you know, that's a thing. All right. You know, it's nice being able to take a smaller truck around do some kind of casual trucking around. Oops. 
Nope. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. So the new one says no content. Okay. All right. So there you go, Laginator. You've got your uh, you've got your links shared, and uh, there you go. Yeah, Loader, you had a little bit of a uh, a medical scare there. And I am certainly happy that um, things check out better than what was actually, um, you know, initially thought. Go to the left. Body source points. I get full like every time I watch you can make make more for me to enjoy like I can't for self promotion and no spamming. Yeah, uh, we are very glad that Loader is okay. Very, very glad. Uh, because Loader, you are a good dude. And I would be really, really not digging things if anything happened, man. Um, because we all care about everybody here. And the world is too crappy as it is right now. And, um... Yeah. Wouldn't want anything bad to happen. Right? Alright, where are the next bricks that we are going to choose. So, I think there's some bricks in some of the warehouses around here. So there's three brick framing, uh, but none of the warehouses have bricks in them. Brick framing. So we're going to go for that one. There is this one there. Which, that one's kind of out of the way. And then there's this other one... ...there. Which... Actually, we can get those. Those will be... Those will be a little bit easier to get. No spamming and endosperm in a million times? What? Chase down some more bricks over here. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> LSD is not the path. Actually, Hostile Puma, when you say LSD and when I see LSD, um, we're all good here, man. We're all good. Like, uh, we don't really use too many moderators and stuff like that. This is... This is kind of like a one-man show. I am a uh, streamer, moderator, on-air personality. Because Puma, when you say LSD, my brain goes to limited slip differential, which the GM option code is G80. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> you know, so, it's... Waylon says that. Waylon says that. And mine is not. I just... I am a dude who talks a lot. And I have a lot of opinions about a lot of things. And I say a lot of stuff. You're a... Pumod. Oh my god. Is that a new word? General Norman. Pumod. A Pumod. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. A Pumod. You are a Pumod. Oh, uh, mods in, in this game. I thought you were talking about mods in the channel. 
Um, I don't use mods because I'm on the PlayStation and I just don't want to have to deal with the potential for the game crashing, um, doing funny stuff, and generally running out of memory. So it's just, it's kind of easier not to have to deal um, with mods like that. So, but that's just me. Oh, yeah. Puma. That was a thing. That was absolutely a thing that happened. Really? Norman? I thought, um... Well, I, I had flipped the auto mod on just for the hell of it because I didn't think it was going to go scorched earth policy on everything and it was really funny because it would sometimes block what he was saying right out of the gate or he would say something it would uh, it would allow the comment through he would think that he beat it somehow and then the auto mod would come back with a vengeance and it would just completely remove everything. And it was so funny. It was unbelievably funny. And I was having way too much fun watching the entire situation happen to really want to mess with it. So the commands we have here are as such. And then, um, I mean, we get some stuff, but we have, uh, we've got channel points for sounds, and, and we've got some, um, stuff that you can spend some bits on if you do the bits thing. And every now and again, we'll even, we'll even do something like, uh, give away a free t-shirt, or, uh, you know, potentially something else. We'll make that, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do a t-shirt giveaway again soon. Hopefully with less grief and aggravation that the the last t-shirt um, giveaway went with. But we got the t-shirt giveaway squared away, so Relic does have uh, his t-shirt redeemed, so it's on his way to him, so things are, things are good there. Alright, second house. Poor unfortunate soul that you are. Taking your stuff away so I can Make my paper melt. I mean, if you were to win one in the next contest that we have, uh, it is certainly something that can happen. But, uh, my friend, I have bills to pay too. I am a working stiff. I am not a full-time streamer. This is not a, uh, this is not a primary source of income for me. We'll put it that way. Oh, when we have a uh, when we have a T-shirt giveaway, I will announce it in the stream, and it'll be a thing that we do. So maybe it'll be when we cross a certain number of followers or a certain number of channel subs or, or something like that. But it'll it'll be a it'll be a, a thing that we announce. I don't have one planned anytime soon. Which better give you back your founder badge? Yeah, Moya Surfer Dude, we finally got the t-shirt giveaway squared away. Puma. You, what shirt did you buy, Puma? Although... I gotta tell you, it would be funny if you guys wore Storm of Iron t-shirts to one of, um, 
Waylon's concerts. I would laugh my ass off. Oh, off of your merch site? It, it's actually not too bad, and I was honestly thinking of changing which merch site, because right now mine goes through Streamlabs, and they've got some quality stuff. I like the mug, I like the stickers, I like the t-shirts that I've got, um, the colors of the t-shirts, so the the darker logos on the lighter shirts and the lighter, shirt, uh, lighter logos on the darker shirts actually look really cool. <laughs> Dude, if you did that and you took a picture of that, I would I would laugh and probably have a heart attack from laughing. <laughs> oh man, guys, that's way too funny. That is way too funny. I mean, I'm pretty sure he'd do it, too. That's the funny thing. Uh, I have all the DLC packs. I've bought them once. I'm not going to I'm not gonna buy them again, man. <laughs> Before the 21st. I think they do... Um, I don't think they take that long... Uh, the coffee mugs, I think, took the longest to get. Because everything ships out of, like, different places. I bought the, uh, Laginator. I bought the Season Pass. Oh, you got it in four days. Actually, that's really impressive. Puma, I am really, really hoping that he comes to New England um, because I would actually like to be able to have the chance to see those guys in person, actually say thank you to him face to face instead of via Zoom, you know. I like Waylon. Waylon's a good guy. Uh, season Pass is going to be on the PlayStation Store along with the rest of the downloadable content. You gotta scrape your pennies together, man. Man, if I was any closer to incarceration, I absolutely would have done that. Because that that whole thing sounds incredible. Um, Laginator. Nobody. Because if I do it for you, I've got to do it for everybody. Okay, so that is that. Now, we need some... Actually, this thing's running around quite a while. And now we need some fuel. You know, I went back and I watched some of the old videos. Waylon is... Even when he was in that previous band... Um, he... He gave good interviews really really great interviews and he's a lot of the same way that he is then as to now just a decent dude so yeah I did see the um, the Lamb of God one and then there was something about the um, was it Kill Switch? I think Kill Switch did too Um, Laginator, buddy. Gotta, gotta pump the brakes there, pal. You know, I don't think I've seen Kill Switch. Um, no, I don't think I have seen Kill Switch. I'm trying to think. I can't even remember the last time I went to a show. I remember Mushroom Head at the Palladium. And that was like 10 years ago.
did one interview where he actually repeated what he said back then, that there aren't many people in the game doing new... Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, you're 100% right about that, to be perfectly honest. The Palladium Ballroom. Uh, we have we have the Palladium in Worcester, and MJP Acoustic. How are you? How are things? We're playing some SnowRunner. All right, we're getting bricks. Uh, you know what? I am. I'm pretty good today. Today is Thursday. It's 7 o'clock. I had a Greek wrap for lunch. And actually, a, a Greek wrap for lunch and late lunch. And then... What else did I have? French fries. So I'm actually really good. Also, I'm going for more bricks now. There is the bricks that I want, so... I'm gonna follow... Yeah, okay, so I just followed this thing straight. Yeah, I think we're all doing pretty good today. It's a, it's a beautiful day outside. Oops. Hold on. Just smash buttons on things. It's a beautiful day outside today, although I am inside playing video games. Um, the Phase 4 release comes out in two weeks for this. We are looking forward to Assassin's Creed Valhalla exactly one week. So on the 13th, I think, we said. So we get some Assassin's Creed Valhalla coming on the way. We get some really good stuff going on. Um, also, apparently, there is a tree branch stuck in my spare tire. And I'm continuing to up out leaves, which I had that happen before. That's a thing. Ah, Moya Surfer Dude, thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you for staying around. And... You know, maybe we'll be back tomorrow. You never know. I have no idea what's going on anymore because things are wacky and weird and all over the place. But one thing that is not weird is the fact that you show up and hang out with us. And we have a good time. And I appreciate that. And also, I am still thrilled that uh, you're going back to work soon. Patrick is a good guy. Patrick is a very good guy. Um, he does quite a bit of stuff. He's actually involved in some, like, circus art stuff as well. So he's done some training to be a clown. Um, I don't know if he's... He's, he's done um, silks. He's done chains. And it's, it's crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. Uh, which... Um, Which um, festival is that, Loader? I used to go to Ozfest, and I used to go to the Reveille Hometown Throwdown when that would come around. Actually, at the Palladium. I think New Year's? New Year's, they... Is it New Year's they would do that? I can't remember. They, it was like a big... Or a Memorial Day weekend, or, or something like that. Um, there's a lot of cool places to see a show. Blue Ridge Rock Festival. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Also, I really like this tree to stop puffing leaves out at me. It's just weird. Weird stuff going on. Weird strange stuff going on. And now we're up to the axles in mud. I do want to travel down the, uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is... What is that? Um, MJP Acoustic. Thank you very much for the follow. That is greatly appreciated. We are a small channel here. And we like to have fun. We enjoy having a good time. Tree limbs don't stop the truck. Oh my god. I certainly hope they carry that over to the actual build 
the live build. Because they, there's some stuff that is really obnoxious about this game. Like, if trees stop the truck, okay, that's one thing. If these goofy branches that are on the ground uh, keep hanging me up, it's, it's irritating. So irritating. I built this bridge. This is a bridge I built. I call it Bridgie McBridge Bridge. Or perhaps even a bridge too far. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a fuel station up here too. I forgot about that. Um, we are going to our third house to take more bricks from them. Because our paper mill is more important than someone's place of residence. We've established that fact in this game. Oh, the ones in the trees. Okay. Okay. So the branches on the trees bend. They do not break. Bend like a reed in the wind. Or, as Bruce Lee once said, be like water. If water is in a cup, it becomes the cup water is in a bowl, it becomes the bowl. Be like water. Or, you know, as one Eric Draven once said, it can't rain all the time. But if you looked outside this week, today has been the only nice day. So there, in fact, lies a kernel of truth. <laughs> Be like water. <laughs> Yes, Relic. Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, those Austin Power movies were so funny. So funny. Once upon a time, back in the day. All right, your house is gone. I have taken everything but the outhouse. And you know what? If we can make this outhouse fall... I'm going to make this outhouse fall. Hold on, watch this, watch this. Uh, nope. That outhouse... That is... One solid outhouse right there. We couldn't make that outhouse fall. So, it looks like... This dude is left with a slab foundation and an outhouse. <laughs> you know, Puma, I'm not sure. Yeah, Gastron, things things got a little uh things got a little out of control there yesterday. Um because we we had people who were trying to defeat the auto mod, <laughs> which is why I turned on the auto mod in the first place. Um but thank you for hanging around. No, we, we, we do try to keep things more G-rated over here because this is a game that I can sit back and chill and have a good time and just talk with everyone, regardless of where they're from or what they do or how old they are. Uh, everybody likes trucks and everybody likes cars, and I enjoy this. But we, we, things, things did get a little, uh, yeah, there was, there was a chunk of time where things get a little, uh, excitable there yesterday. But Gazdron, thank you for hanging around. So things things did um, <laughs> things did get a little uh, a little wacky the the later things went too so there there is that we certainly did push into some later hours and stuff which usually I don't do um, typically I try to wrap things up before everybody you know starts streaming.
<laughs> well, I was typing, and my um, no, that was just me. Um, no, my my camera is directly atop my uh, my laptop here, and it doesn't really sit on a very stable surface, so everything is hodgepodge here. Everything. <laughs> from the um, singular person who runs the show to uh, the, the way that the laptop is set up, my wonderful, comfy second-hand chair. I don't have one of those fancy gaming chairs. I don't really like those fancy gaming chairs. Oh, you did order a third monitor. That's cool. Ouch. That hurt. You just ran into a rock that I didn't see. Um... I'm not, I'm not a big fancy gaming chair type fan. Uh, I know a lot of people do like them, but not really my thing. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna check the other map and see if there are bricks in the other map that I can scavenge from, because that wouldn't be a bad thing either. Now, Loader, do you have Well, see, here's the thing, like, I have my my TV over here, which you can't see, I'm pointing, pointing that way. So I'm looking at my TV now, my computer's over here, um, oh, you're, what kind of chair? Are you having, like, something custom done, or what do you got going on there? Old office chair. So the redo the, the leather to do cloth, that's cool. I like, you know, I I have always preferred a cloth interior in a car over like leather. So, ooh, wing back, wing back. Ooh, crap. I got to disengage the differential lock and taken 25 points of drivetrain damage. Okay, that's fine. Do that. We'll just get these bricks back to the factory, the paper factory. I would love a wingback chair. Um, I have absolutely no space for uh, a wingback chair to just plant somewhere. I am a fan of stuff. And if I were to ever show you the layout of my room slash gaming area slash living area. Yeah, see, Relic, 100%. Sticky leather. Leather is not comfortable. I don't think leather in cars was ever really super comfy. And the best... The best car seats I've ever sat in were cloth, high-back, Volvo bucket seats. And they had factory heat in them from, like, mid-90s? So it was like mid-90s, high-back cloth seats that I put into a 1972 International Harvester truck. And that was fun. <laughs> that was actually really cool. I bent up all these custom brackets out of angle iron, cut, bolted, drilled holes, all kinds of stuff. It was, it was just nuts. Just nuts. It was cool, though. It was really neat. All right, so we have another two pieces of bricks. Okay, so that is half our cargo load of bricks. Go for it, Puma. Bench seats, old bench seats. Yes, exactly, exactly. Old bench seats are a, a thing of the past, to be perfectly honest with you. 
Um, all right, let's see what we have for bricks. Wood, wood, wood. Fuel, hangar B. Hangar B has metal rolls. Hangar A has metal rolls and surface spare parts. Rail production plant has rail sections. Hmm. Wood, rolled steel, wood, 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 metal. Okay. We have absolutely nothing in the way of bricks in that map. So, we need to now... Alright. So there's our brick production plant. There's our quarry. We need to bring six units of Ooh, this is going to get interesting. Okay. Planning time. Oh, actually, you know what? No. We can... Shortcut. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Okay. W no. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. All right. We got to bring the big truck back to the warehouse. We also need a generator and a fuel truck over there. 75 Ford LTD land yacht. You are absolutely, absolutely correct on that. Um, Puma. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Leather in the summer awful. Absolutely awful. I completely agree. Um, wait a minute. Change trucks. Cover. Colob. We're going to bring the Colob back. We are going to. We're going to get cement. What we're going to do. Yeah, black vinyl in the summer. Um, you know what? That is a very good question. An old LTD, like a big land yacht with bouncy suspension and a giant bench seat, questionable brakes and steering. But why don't they make those anymore? <laughs> um, I love those cars. I love the cars. From too many emails. I love the cars from the seventies. The the giant. Apparently, we get stuck. Why do we get stuck? We get stuck on. Oh, we get stuck on concrete. Who would have thought? Usually, yeah. Um, it is... Well, those cars typically had a full frame underneath them. Passenger cars no longer have a full frame underneath them. It's all unibody construction. So that's one thing. Um, the closest thing you can get to that kind of architecture is a pickup truck. <laughs> it's all good, Norman. Tell you what, let's um do a thing. Um, does a Bentley still have a full frame underneath of it? I know my Trailblazer actually still does.
I'm trying to see if I can do something here. All right, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, back to the action. So, the Equinox is a unibody construction. All GM cars have a unibody construction to them. Uh, they no longer have a body on frame like uh, like pickup truck does. What you're gonna have is the subframe that's up front there, which the suspension and drivetrain actually connects to. But the sub uh, the, the, the subframe is bolted to the rest of the unibody construction. Oh, excuse me. That tasted like a Greek wrap. Feta cheese all the way. Oh, that was a really good wrap. It was either it was either going to be a Greek wrap or it was going to be a chicken Caesar wrap for this afternoon. And unbeknownst to me, when you order a wrap, they actually give you fries with it. And I had ordered fries on the side. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with doubling down on french fries. Especially when they're like pizza place french fries. These weren't crinkle cut. So headlights. So what we want to do is get. So we need six bricks. So we need to get six units of six units of cement, and then we need six units of sand. Eighty-five old Delta eighty-eight. That's a good car. I had an eighty-four old mobile Delta eighty-eight, previously owned by Godsmack. They used to tour before they hit it big. Uh, Godsmack hailing from New Hampshire. That was a fun car, especially when I swapped the drivetrain for the seventy-seven old Rocket three hundred and fifty engine with a TH three hundred and fifty transmission, but kept the. 241 rear differential gear, which made the thing hilarious on the highway because it was a big boat and the suspension was not tight. And that thing went down the highway like a couch, just floating like a couch. Those are cool cars. That is a that is a monstrosity of a car. Um, I have a friend at work who either has an eighty nine or a ninety. I think it's either yeah, it's a it's a Mercury Grand Marquis, and that's a cool car. That's a big old boxy sixty eight Coronet. Yep. If you want to go back a little bit further, I had a 70 Chevelle. I've had, I've had a number of old vehicles. I had a 70 Chevelle that when I bought it, the guy had put a 305 out of like a truck in it to just drive it around. And he drove it for one year back in the early 80s. And I got it. I drove it. I swapped a 350 and out of a 70, the the 350 came out of like a like a dirt circle track car, and the block stamping numbers uh, we matched it up to like a 73 Monte Carlo. So I drove with that for the longest time. That was a great. The small block was more drivable, but then I managed to get a pair of Mercury Marine. 454 engines. Uh, the guy who was getting rid of them got rid of them for pennies on the dollar. They came out of his old cigarette boat. So I sold one of the engines. I stripped it down, checked the insides, because I figured both engines would be relatively the same. 
because they had the same service record. Ooh, 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 that's a lot. They had the same service records. They had, um, you know, been run the same amount of hours. And this guy kept, you know, good care of his boats. Um, and, you know, the engines were good. So they were Mercury Marine. 454s. So they had the Mercury Marine um, tag on them. The the blocks also had the hypo stamp in the uh, in in the cast iron of the block. So they were good engines. They were really good engines. So I sold one for a couple hundred bucks. Basically made my money back on the purchase of the two engines. Then I stripped it down, left the rotating assembly alone, cleaned it up on the inside. The, the cylinder walls were great. Everything looked solid on the inside. Um, you know, chased the threads all the way through the damn thing. And then I put a, let's see, put a Edelbrock Performer RPM cam kit, double roll of timing chain, um, set of long tube headers, Edelbrock Performer RPM intake manifold, matching carburetor, whole bunch of stuff. And GM HEI ignition system. Never really did anything with the ignition on that thing. And swapped the 350 for the 454. That was a hell of a, a, hell of a power plant. That thing was just gobs of torque. The rear suspension, I had 10 inch wide American Racing Outlaw Outlaw 2s or Outlaw 1s. The solid face American Racing Outlaw wheel. And then, what do we do? So it was the American Racing wheels. I put the Edelbrock suspension kit in. Um, powder-coated, boxed upper lowers with the anti-hop bars that went between the upper trailing arms and the rear end housing. All right, generator. Fill up the generator. Fire up the generator. So that, that car had, I think I had like 305, 305, 60, 15s on the back. I mean, the tires were huge. They were they were gigantic contact patch in the back end. Which I'm totally okay with. Oh, damn it. Okay. I'm going to have to get more fuel over here again. Alright, so that's five... We have five cement. So now this thing. Oh wait a minute. Um, fuel. Lead star into the generator. Perfect. Truck back to collab. We make two more cement. Load the cement. Okay, now we have all the cement we need. Yeah, the old chargers were cool. Um, no, I don't think I saw that. What was that one loader? I will have to go back and double check. Now, let's try to... In the corner here. Two minutes left to work. Two minutes... The countdown clock is on. Norman, line up the time clock. Get ready. Punch the time clock and run like the wind. For work can no longer hold you in place. The day is done. The day is one. And now it is time to have some fun. <laughs> Alright. 
now we can take the we can take the cement to the brick factory and then we're just going to have to get various loads of the sand so we have enough we have enough cement now we need sand so we have to get this to the factory we'll make this happen oh i I think I saw something about that. I, I'd have to go. I'd have to go double check. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I did see that. That's right. No, I, I did come across that. That, that is correct. All right, so then, I don't think I'm gonna have to come back to this area anymore. So I can probably take the the generator and the truck. We can take out of here. We can also take the other generator and the other truck out of the other location. So that's the Azov. All right. Yeah, the the good guys' car stuff is is pretty in depth. I believe there's also a television show. I don't know if it's on Motor Trend or if it's on YouTube or what it's on, but it's about um, automobiles being inducted into um, like the Automotive Hall of Fame, essentially. And it's some, it's some rather impressive stuff. And I have to find the article again, or the video again. Yeah, I, I think it was on YouTube. Um, it, it's some... It's not just about cars that are cultural icons, but about the stories behind them and the drivers behind them. And it's... Um, it's, it's really amazing. And... Uh, you know, hold on. Now, I think I have to look it up because it's actually, like... It, it's a really important thing. I, I know a friend of mine had we had touch base about it um, I know it's here somewhere no I don't want to do that um All right, I found it. Okay. Seconds. Then I'll get it. Go. Okay, so it's called the um, National Historic Vehicle Register. And it's a 1921 Duesenberg and a 1970 Challenger. That's the link, and it is, it is, the, the, the story behind the Challenger is something that movies should be made of. This is something that, like, legitimately is incredible. The, the, the story behind it, not even of the car, but of the guy behind the car. Um, it, it's, it's legendary. It is absolutely legendary, and you you really need to watch that video. Um, the Duesenberg, okay, it's kind of cool. It's it's a 1921 Duesenberg. Yeah, it's neat. Um, the 70 Challenger, though. Uh, the, just the, the history behind the car itself. Unreal. Unreal. Uh, that I don't. Although, it's hard to find anything of that vintage anymore, Loader. Or anything that's even remotely any good from it, you know. 
prices on that stuff is so out of control, though. Um, anything older like that. But then again, prices on anything used car is out of sight. It's kind of like the housing market right now. All right, there we go. So let's take this cement over to my brick factory. Or at least let's see how far we can make it with this stuff. Because we get about... Um... Ah, interesting. Okay. Hollywood used them as stunt cars because they flew straight. <laughs> All the aerodynamics of a brick. <laughs> Man, if you go back to any of those old shows and watch any of that old stuff and watch the kinds of cars that they destroyed once upon a time. It's just, it's unbelievable. And then you think about it now, and the amount of money just in those cars alone. Well, it went from useful stuff like that to, um, which automotive manufacturer would give them the most money for featuring their cars in whatever movie it was. Like Transformers. Transformers was a giant General Motors commercial. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Acura. I never really made it too far in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., though. That was kind of one of those shows where it was like, eh. The only good part about that was um, Agent uh, Agent Col Colson, Colson I think. But then again, we're never going to have any good series of shows involving uh, Marvel superhero related stuff, especially like on Netflix or anything like that. Uh, simply because, gee, thanks Disney Plus. Disney. While some of those shows were fairly critically acclaimed, some of them were just kind of hot garbage. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's a, it's another pocket of uh, unreality that the uh, the tree branch is uh, existing in over there. Okay, so. You want to go? Go here. We go left, right, cross, up into the brick production facility. You get this. We get all of this. Yeah, the Punisher was a good series. I don't think. Huh. Oops. The Punisher series, I think they could have had more of it. Um, a lot of those shows, they did not wrap up effectively. I don't think they just... I don't know. They didn't do a real good job wrapping them up. But then again... Quiet Relic. Or I'll send the, I'll send the uh, giant tarantulas after you. That, that's a thing, right? Giant Harry Potter tarantulas or something. Oh, we're not even ready to go to the other map, because there's still other stuff to do on this map. This is only section B. Man. Oh, spider's moving. He saw me. He saw me looking at him, so he stopped. Spider's moving. Yeah, all, all this stuff is fairly straightforward. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, those giant tomato worms, they were legitimately the size of my pinky. Like, it was a, a very large worm. Um, 
they're interesting because all you need to do for them to grow large is put them in warm sunlight and they just they grow and grow and grow and grow and grow they're kind of creepy with their suction cup feet and stuff like that Also, we've got about another 20 minutes to go. So let's see let's see how far we can do this stuff. I don't think I'm going to get all of the bricks to the... Um, oh, wow. We just came winding down that hill. There you go. They do, uh, they do apparently cause issues with Puma. So... Also, I'm really looking forward, Relic, to uh, to that thing we talked about earlier. Yes, that was a tomato worm. Yep. Um, they come in green or like a bluish color. And apparently they're different like subspecies of tomato worms, depending on the color. So it's interesting, we, when we go up to the New Hampshire Highland Games up in Lincoln, New Hampshire, and we stay in the condo that we rent, there's usually giant, giant spider webs up there and massive, massive spiders. And it's just, it's so crazy. Um, they're, they're like, this, the, 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 the body of them is like the size of a quarter. And it's not like a tarantula looking thing. It's more like uh, it's it's more like a uh, what the hell is it? Like a black widow style of spider. Like the really large abdomen with the spindly legs and the tiny um, thorax and head and everything. have to spray some uh, moisture into the enclosure. I think so. I believe so. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I can't remember. It. I don't think it's a wolf spider. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The garden spiders. Exactly. Thank you. All right, so we're going to haul this bad boy up here. Actually, we'll be able to use this thing um, to haul the six orders of bricks, or six you know, cargo units of bricks back. That'll be all right. Spectrum tried to say he stopped and rang the doorbell one time. Sent them a picture of the <laughs> undisturbed web. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's actually really funny. Definitely going to shuttle much smaller amounts of sand between the brick factory and the quarry. Oh, that move it? That move? Yeah, move it. Move it. With, uh, with what's his name there? Hehehehe. <laughs> 
So, needless to say, Puma, you have a little bit of the arachnophobia. John Goodman, you are not, my friend. You know, so, but that's the thing. Um, some people like spiders, some people have no issue with spiders, and some people are terrified of spiders. Okay. But, you know, I'm not going to sit there and, and... King Ralph, that is a movie title reference I have not heard or even thought of in eons. That is incredible. get a good winch point. Come on. Let's at least get this stuff to where it's got to go and start getting other stuff to where it's got to go before we have to do things like... Um, snakes and scorpions are cool, actually. Jeremiah Johnson. So, I've owned snakes. I have not owned scorpions, although I wouldn't mind owning a scorpion. But like a big emperor scorpion. Relic doesn't like bats. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Robert Redford, yep. Oh, for the love of everything. Come on, let's get this bad boy up and over these rocks, which apparently are what's kind of stymieing me. Although nothing's fallen off the back, so I'll take that as a win. Alright. Take fuel. Turner Classic Movies. I don't have, uh, I don't have cable anymore, so everything that I watch is either Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus. Anything? Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. It should be a lot easier going down that path than going up that path. So. Open storehouse. We are going to unload all of that cement. Done. Now, I have to get a truck with a generator over to the generator zone here. And then there's apparently something called quarry incidents right there. So I'll have to figure that one out as well. But I also need a truck. Old Emperor Scorpion ate a mouse alive. It was kind of gross. I should pick up HBO Max because that's actually a really good channel with a lot of stuff available on it. Her name was Izzy. And why did you read that as Hobo Max? Very good question. Very good question. I don't know why you would have read that as Hobo Max. So, I'm gonna shut this truck off, stop the engine. Um, what about this Azov? Azov here. Take that around all the way to there. I mean, that's possible. Because I don't think I'm going to need anything. Oh, crap. Wait a minute. Hold on. Truck trip. So we need cellulose from the paper factory. All right. Section C. So that's fuel, small pipes. You know what? No, I can't take these trucks out of the cargo creation zones just yet. So we'll hold off on that. Old cat beheaded a bird in midair. Well, that is uh, a very interesting thing. Did you see the chicken fight? Oh, yeah. Chickens. Chickens are weird, man. Oh, speaking of chickens, have you seen the people who take these little plastic 3D printed what looks like arms and put them on the chickens? So the chickens walk around looking like they have arms? Or the people who put pants on chickens? because that's also a thing. Truck storage. Let us get a truck.
we're going to need a couple of trucks. Because we also need something with a flatbed. Another Azov? Yeah, you know what? We have... We have Azovs, like, everywhere. We'll, we'll, we'll use an Azov. Um... Supplies. Alright, so we need the fuel tank. T-Rex chickens, yeah. <laughs> little little raptor birds, basically. Alright, so we need generator. Okay. We need the generator. We have the fuel for it. And then we need to go back to the garage because we want to pick... We need a truck that we can take with us to do stuff. You know what? Actually, this is where this is going to come in handy. We'll use the long... F oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is this thing going to be too long? You know what? Throw it. Doesn't matter. Wait a minute. So that's... That's two loads. Okay. It'll be two loads with this truck. Oh, you mean, yeah, chicken fighting? That that stuff's pretty messed up. That's a big fuel tank. So. We're going to use this truck because it's going to... It is going to lessen the amount of trips that we're actually going to need to make. That's a good thing. You know what? I will... I'll put this guy out front. So then the Azov can pull us. Alright. And away we go. With the turning radius of a small planet. <laughs> all right we're good okay so we're gonna take all this stuff over to the the quarry and puma i i hate to take you away from watching whatever weird videos you're going to be watching but uh are you ready for the 10 minute or, or I guess it's your 10 minute warning so to speak and also if you guys are still interested in any merch related stuff with the Storm of Iron logo on it you can find it there and if there's anybody floating around who uh, who's hanging out you haven't followed yet, hit that follow button. You get notified when I go live. And you can keep uh, hanging out and watching all the goofy stuff here. See? Kind of neat, isn't it? You know, I should actually compile, like, more stuff. Um, there's also a lurk command, so if you hit exclamation point lurk, that is a thing. All right, Puma. You um, you take as much time as you need, good buddy. And um, it's all good. 
Yeah, see? We have alert command. So there's some stuff. I am making small advances as, like, an individual who is a streaming-type person. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, making, I'm making small advances, all right? I'm a one-man show here, and I'm also a horrific slacker. So if I can just sit here and play video games and, like, everybody hangs up and talks, and it's all good, that's fantastic. When I get to start doing stuff, then it's like, ah, uh, crap. I got things. Like, I want to kind of revamp the whole uh, panel situation down below there. Ooh, Starburst. I like Starburst. Starburst is so good. There's that wall again. Floating in midair. Starburst jelly beans. That's where it's at. They bring bring treats for everyone. Um. Hmm. I'd love some jelly beans right now. But it's like not the jelly bean season anymore because we're past Easter. Which, I don't care that it's not Easter. Easter, as far as I'm concerned, is just candy holiday. A Kit Kat bar would be good. I think I might even have one of those somewhere. Kit Kat. Snickers. Oh, Relic. Starburst jelly beans are fantastic. So good. train here going. Gotta keep pulling all this stuff. Rolos. Yes. Spiced jelly beans? Okay. Oh, the bigger ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Those are so good. You have a bag of Rolos? Those are awesome. Four-wheel drive, there we go. That'll get us through the mud. Four-wheel drive! Um. <laughs> There's also another thing here. There we go. Oh, where is this thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright. There's another thing there. So, that's also a thing. Which is another um, weird tab that apparently they uh, they give me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to redo the custom tabs and everything that are down below um, the screen there. There's actually some really cool ones that are available. There's actually I, I may even overhaul some of the graphical stuff on the channel. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. It's just... I have fun doing this. <laughs> so for every sub... Um, <laughs> Relic's going to eat a Rolo. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that's great. That's great. Also, I think if we get Puma, 
the download Outriders. That is entirely a thing that could happen. Uh, oh, 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 what are you doing? Some weird stuff going on with the, the winching action here. Yeah, it's um, it's a little bit different. I, I think it's like a live, like as it's live, and then there's other stuff that you can do there. Uh, I haven't really done too much with that one. Yeah, honestly, Puma, check out the gameplay first. Uh, like I was saying the other day, Outriders is not for everyone. Outriders, like you coming from Destiny... Ooh, Subnautica stream coming up in eight days for Loader. That is very cool. Uh, is that the one where you're going to go beginning to end, uh, I believe? All right, I should also actually check and see. Where the hell do we get into? Oh, okay, so I can come up from the brick site and then work my way down into the quarry. Okay, that's easy enough. I th think, now, Loader probably knows all about it, but I, I think it's out. I'm not 100% sure. Subnautica is like a super popular game, too. Um, it's... I don't really... I'm not, like, a super big fan of underwater-style games. Like, even in, in Call of Duty, when I'm swimming, I feel like I'm holding my breath. Like, as I'm playing the game, it's making me subconsciously hold my breath as it's going. And it's really weird, but it happens, so I, I just... I get, like, anxious and stuff with a game with a lot of water. But that's good. Other people are completely different. Some people don't like spiders. Some people like scorpions instead. And I'm not talking about scorpion from Mortal Kombat, thank you very much. As cool as the original scorpion is, I did like the new Mortal Kombat movie, um, their, their scorpion. That was cool. That was so cool. <laughs> you can't punch the stingrays. I like games that have just beautiful scenery. Um, stuff like this, it's got great scenery. Yep. Jacques Cousteau's Underwater World. It is underneath the surface of the water where we find the most beautiful of fishes. We journey deep beneath the sea in our submersible named Jacques Cousteau number two. And we all sit inside and we shall descend to the floor of the ocean. And we shall see the magical flora and fauna as we swim like the fishes as we go under the sea. Life is better down when it's wetter under the sea. Yeah, uh, Relic, you are correct. Um, it was cool, too, because uh, I was reading all the IMDB stuff, and basically he tried to play the Mortal Kombat games just to get an idea. But he's like, yeah, I was horrible at them. I was absolutely horrible at those games, but I wanted to try them anyway. And you know what? If someone is playing Subnautica and they need a Jacques Cousteau stand-in to narrate everything that is going on under the water, I shall narrate for the descent underneath the water in the beautiful alien ocean. 
under the sea. That man was goddamn majestic. Majestic. Jacques Cousteau and the the stuff that he did was phenomenal. Um, you know, you, you, you've got these people like Jacques Cousteau. You've got these people like, um, you know, Steve Irwin and Bob Ross who, who find some absolute beauty in the world that we exist in. Oh, there are no maps. Okay, that is... Whoosh. All right. Okay, so we're almost to... We're almost to that place. I've not been to the quarry yet, so... I don't know what's over here. No contest. Uh, hi. As you know, the locals love racing, and the quarry nearby is an ideal racing uh, track. Let's see how fast your vehicle can go. No recovery, no truck change, and no garage. We'll get to that eventually. Um, Steve Irwin was an incredible person. And it's really nice to see that both of his children have carried on his legacy and, you know, taken his mission statement of wildlife warrior and continued to go with it. Oh, wow. Go down that way, too. All right. This is a cool quarry. This is a really neat quarry over here. So you chart your own on paper. Oh my god, dude. That's nuts. Okay, so there's a, there's a warehouse all the way at the bottom there. That's a ways down. So we've got a ways, we've got a ways to go here. And we're going to need fuel. So our... Our trailer should have fuel in it. Our truck has fuel in it. We're gonna we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. You know, relic that that is cool though, um, and it, it's important to have. And you can see the distances and have a compass. Okay, that's pretty cool though. Uh, but relic, you're right. Things like the crocodile hunter need to be shared with younger generations of kids because it is something that needs to be you know it, it, it needs to be there it needs to be kept there it needs to be shared it needs to grow um, and not just simply get lost and forgotten Jay Stu have you ever burped up a spicy crab stick roll that you had earlier and the burp exploded in your throat and now you have insufferable heartburn because that happened? Um, can't say that I have, little fella. Um, maybe you need a Tums? Tum to tum tum tums. Tum 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 tum. Tum Okay, so I don't know. I'm supposed to go down here. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay, so it does in fact keep going down, but I can use those to get Alright, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take my chances is what we're gonna happen. Oh crap, 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 crap! Ooh, that's not good. This is definitely not good. So 
So I need to get some fuel um, before. Refuel. All right, it's only gonna let me take it from the. All right, we're gonna steal it from the generator. That one. That. 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 All right. Um. All right. So Puma is live now. When we go to the Columbus Zoo, the last two hours we spend in the Stingray Bay. But it's open anyway. The first few times, the kids tried to feed them, but they freaked out. Ooh. All right, so that might not have worked as well as I thought. All right, Puma, let me um, let me attempt to right my nightmarish mess up here because I might have just boned myself something fierce. Oh, oh, yeah. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, I should do that, but I want to not do that because it's probably going to... go really poorly. I got an idea. <laughs> Penguin tag. All right, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. So, uh. <laughs> yeah. About that. So, um, yeah. That didn't exactly go. Yep, William Sterling. Absolutely. I, I deserve that one. I absolutely deserve that one. Uh, that was on me. That was absolutely on me. Laginator! We're about to raid another channel because... We're, uh... So we're gonna... We're gonna take this time right now to, uh, maybe raid another channel. So, uh, <laughs> because we have come to the end of our, of our stream for the night. It is quarter past eight. A hostile puma has gone It's live. a trick. Get an axe. They are both still right there. And, um, they are down for the count. Um, we goofed that one up mighty big. So we'll try to, we'll try to fix that. We will try to fix that in short order. So... Puma is live. Puma is up and running. We said that we were going to raid Puma, so that is what we're going to do. So let me hit the thing. We're going to hit the buttons to make the stuff.
So guys, as always, thank you very much for any of the follows that you have thrown my way. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for enjoying the time here. We have fun. That's what we do. We have fun here. It's chill, relaxed, and um, you watch me roll over and do stupid stuff like this. So for now, happy Thursday. We're going to go raid Puma, and I'll, uh, I'll see you all on, on, the, uh, all on the flip side. General Norman, thank you very much. William Sterling, Loader, Laginator, J. Stew, anyone else who has popped by, Relic, my man. I hear uh, Puma coughing in the background. So we will catch you all on the flip-flop, possibly even tomorrow. We'll see where it goes.